This video will describe how to onboard new firewall devices using the AlgoSec APIs. This is a homegrown application that you're seeing written in Java, but it could be just as easily integrated in with ServiceNow or Remedy. And let's go look at uh, how we can onboard devices. The first piece that we'll need is an authorized user for the AlgoSec system. So here's an authorized user appropriate password in the AlgoSec IP. And then we'll go to the onboarding new devices screen. So this is the first layer of information that's needed. Uh, we need a device name to put it in the AlgoSec tree, an IP address to communicate, and then the uh, different device types. In our particular example, we'll be using a Cisco PIX. So here I've added the uh, admin user for the Cisco PIX, the device password, as well as with Cisco, you need to have an enable password. And before I click the uh, add new device, what we'll do is we'll show you the screen as it looks inside of the AlgoSec uh, solution. As you can see here in the firewall tree, what we have are two devices, the Nexus 2 and the PIX 10. So now let's go add another PIX device. So let's jump back to our application and we'll fill in the appropriate uh, information here. So the device name will be ASA1. This will be the device IP address. We also have the device type is uh, Cisco PIX, the username, the password, and also the enable password. Let's click on add new device. And you can see that it was successfully added here. If I now go and refresh the screen within the AlgoSec solution, you'll see that the device has been added. So now I have my ASA1 device located within the AlgoSec uh, solution. Now what we want to do is we want to do a full analysis of this device so that we can see the details of information that uh, could be changed once it's been onboarded. So we're going to analyze the device and what's going to happen behind the scenes, my analysis has started. As you can see here, the analysis has started. Once the analysis is complete, then you get a wealth of information regarding how the firewall is configured. So for example, with our ASA1 device, if I look at the device statistics, you can see that I have uh, rules without logging, covered rules, duplicate objects, and so forth. Rules, 10 rules with uh, a comment and an overall security rating of the device. In addition to that, I can also look at the device risks and get compliance reports. So in this particular case, um, I've got NIST statistics of 65, or my PCI is a rating of uh, 72. It's very similar to all of the reports that you have within the AlgoSec solution as well. And here's the example of the PCI report um, that's consolidated after the analysis was complete on the PIX device. There's a lot more information that you can do after the analysis. And many times what our customers do is they open up a portal. And so now you can get and execute what we call a traffic simulation query. So sometimes you don't want to have all the users accessing the AlgoSec solution. And in this case, you want to expose some level of information to them. So over here, what we'll do is we'll identify, here's the source IP and the destination IP. So I'm a networking engineer trying to troubleshoot a problem, figuring out if the solution through the network allows me to get SSH sessions uh, between these two devices. If I click execute the traffic simulation query, then it'll go off to the AlgoSec solution, identify if that path is actually routed in the network, and if so, what are the devices that are actually blocking uh, the path? So in this case, I see that my PIX10 device is blocking it, but um, it's allowed from my Nexus 2 device. In addition, in your portal, if you wanted to, you could also link this traffic to the AlgoSec solution. So now if I open up another window, this query result is actually saved. And what you see here is the details of that query and with the full network path. So now you can trace the full network path from the source of 10.10.11.1 over here with the green flag through the devices all the way through the network um, and also see that the Nexus 2 device is allowing that traffic and finally getting to your destination network. So this is just a short summary of some of the capabilities within the APIs that are exposed within the AlgoSec solution. Thank you for your time.